Why hello there guys, my name is Fanishaw and today uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the TV transition. So I've used it in a few of my edits and this is just my most recent edit that also had it in it. So here it is, just give it a second and it will go through. And there we go, TV transition. So um, I'm just going to go over it real quick, it's pretty easy. Um, and I just have two cinematics here, this is actually from my um, Phase Baker edit. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just like mess with these a bit. So yeah, first of all, I'm just going to pre-compose my first motion track or first clip or whatever it is. And I'm just going to hit B here. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is in my second motion track, I'll wait till the clip actually starts. And so it's like until it starts backing up. Okay, right there, hit B, trim that. Now we are going to go until about here. No, I'm gonna go here to save time and then split this layer and then go ahead and right click on this layer and click track camera. So I'm just gonna let this play through, it'll take a minute or two and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I skipped a solving camera process as well because you know, there's no point of you guys watching that. But, anyways, so now I have this and I'm just gonna click on it so I have all these little points. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit so I can see more of it. And what you can actually do, if you're having trouble seeing little points, just go to target track point size and just drag this up a bit. Okay, now we can see them better. And basically, I want to find a little flat area. If not, if you don't want to do that, you can just go ahead and lasso these. And it should give you a flat one. If it does not, then just click off. And just keep going until you find a flat one. So this one, um, that one's pretty decent. So I'll just use that. Okay, cool. So now I'm just going to scale up this null and reposition it to the center of my, tele of my television screen. Now hit O on this and just trim that to save some render time. Now go ahead and hit P for position. Okay, cool. Now zoom out again and go ahead and get your motion track one and go to the end. So hit O and then right click on it and go time, freeze frame. And then now this whole thing's gonna be frozen like that. And go ahead and make it 3D. Hit P, Shift S, uh, Shift R, and I think that should be good. So now what we're gonna do is just zoom out a little bit, scale this down, and we're just gonna readjust it to the television screen, the TV screen. I don't know why I keep saying television. Okay, uh, bam, just keep readjusting it. And as you see, we might need to rotate it a bit, which is okay. Okay, now you, you're you gonna have to do this a bit, just like scale it like that. And I'll show you a way we can avoid that. Or well, not avoid it, but like make um, the transition from it to being offset is scaled to a regular, from no, from its original scaling to this offsetted. So first of all, I'm gonna type in find, I uh, find it, sorry, corner pin. I don't know why I thought that. Corner pin, cool. Now you're gonna zoom in. And you're gonna go ahead and get your upper left and put it in the upper left corner. So this is just easier for um, setting it to its proper position for the TV. Bam. And oh wait, that's not the, no. Whoopsies. I need this one. Cool. And then last but not least, this one. Sweet. So that's done. Um, it's practically perfectly in position. So if I just zoom out, you can see it goes like that. And then obviously, I think the position is wrong. Oh wait, I forgot about this. You have to go to the Z position and set it to the same thing. So I'm gonna make this two, six, four. Okay, now I gotta re do some more readjusting. Should've done that beforehand, but whatever. Okay, scale that down. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my corner pin again. Bam. Bam. Pretty easy stuff, right? Uh, lower left. And lower right. Let's get that perfectly in there. Sweet. So now it's done. And it's fit perfectly to the television screen, as you can see. And then it will move a tiny bit. So what I can do is go back to this frame where I had that everything so it's perfect. Just keyframe all of these then go over to like maybe here where it's completely retarded and then go ahead and put this in full so you can see it more properly 
and just go ahead and readjust and bring it there, bring it there. Okay, almost done. Bam. So that's done. Okay, cool. So now if I just zoom out a bit, you can see that we have a television. So it zooms out and it's practically fitting perfectly, so that's good. We don't need to do any of the keyframing that I was talking about. And then just goes through and bam. Sweet. So now what we have to do is we have to have the television fade out because obviously, um, just a second, bring that out. Um, bam. Obviously, um, you can see our camera ends here. Sorry about that. So what? What I'm gonna do now is just go type in data glitch. It's by Robite. If you don't have it, then look for a tutorial on YouTube, and go to glitch count, make it zero, and hit Shift T. And hit the opacity for zero. Sorry, sorry, I'm being spammed. And then also keyframe the seed random. Then go to the O, so your out point. And then just go ahead and, and first of all, check if the TV is placed properly. So as you can see, by the time it gets here, it'll be faded anyway, so we don't need to really worry about that. But if you're a perfectionist, I guess you could fix that. But from here, you can't even notice it anyway, so it doesn't matter. So now just go for the glitch count and put it to like 40 ish. So I'm doing 40. And as you can see, we've got all these glitches. And another thing, if you're doing some quarter, you're going to notice the glitches look like absolute crap, right? So just know that your glitches look a lot nicer than they actually do. And then put the C just to 20 so it has a variation of the glitch types. Then put the opacity down to 0. And that should be done. Okay, cool. So now what you want to do is... One second. Okay, so now this is done. What we can do, say our cinematic, say we're happy with it, and we're just going to end it right here. So just crop that. Then what you're gonna do is make a new comp and just call this sin total, I guess, or like final sin or whatever you want to call it. And we have our first motion track and hit O and our second motion track and snap that to there. So now we can just see if it matches. And as you can see it doesn't match perfectly. So what we can do well, you can make a um a adjustment layer of transform and like scale this in slowly and then it just cuts there but what's a lot easier and a lot more simple just make an adjustment layer go ahead and type in twitch and just just any random twitch preset so I'll just do a twitch small okay and uh, transform and I'll just put this to like 108 keyframe it and then that's it so now what we're going to do is just go to the end of this right there put that to 100 end it bam so now all we have if I just go like that and put this on say half and just frame preview this pretty simple transition and then our footage is on the clip and obviously in this um, footage you could have your motion track or whatever and you have to readjust that if you want to and then it's going to slowly do its little glitch thing. I'll let it do that. So just give it a second. And there you go. It's just doing glitch and it fades away. As you can see, it's getting darker. And you see the no signal thing in the background. And yeah. So obviously you can add more effects than just add a glitch for the fade. And you can add more effects to it to make it more realistic like a TV. But anyways, that's all I have time for today. Thank you guys for watching. And one last thing. One okay, good. One last thing. I just want to say um, I hit 100 likes on my Joza TK video. So I would like to do a Q&A, so I'll also put this in the title, it would be like um, tutorial plus Q&A. But um, basically, just ask me any questions, and sometimes this weekend probably, I will do uh, do the Q&A. So it's going to be, you know, any questions you guys really want, don't like make them retarded. Like, some people ask some really weird questions and some Q&As have watched, like, I don't know what some people think, but whatever. Anyways, so... Um, yeah, ask me some questions, and here's just like a sample question, and this is like the best question ever. Do you have swag? Of course I do. So, that's me asking myself, so don't worry, but I do have swag. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys later.